You're watching ASA News. Thank you for joining us. The doping case of American sprinter Shikari Richardson, who missed the Tokyo Olympics due to a one-month ban, is different from that of Russian figure skater Kamila Valieva at the Beijing Games, the International Olympic Committee said on Wednesday. The IOC comments came after Richardson, banned last year for a month for testing positive for cannabis, questioned a decision to allow Valieva to continue competing at the Winter Games amid ongoing doping case. Every single case is very different. She, Richardson, tested positive on 19th of June 2021, quite ahead of the Tokyo Games. IOC spokesman Mark Adams said, The Tokyo Olympics, delayed by a year due to pandemic, started on July 23. Her results come in early in order of the USADA, US Anti-Doping Agency, to deal with the case at the time. Before the Games, Mrs. Richardson accepted a one-month period of eligible, which began on 28th of June. Richardson was expected to be one of the biggest draws in Tokyo after winning the 100 metres at the US trials. She later said her action to consume cannabis was the result of mourning the death of her mother. On Monday, however, she demanded an answer from the IOC over Valeva's continued participation at the Games. The 15-year-old Russian was tested on December 25, 2021, but her results were reported only on February 8, a day after she had won team gold in figure skating for the Russian Olympic Committee. No Olympic medals will be awarded at the women's team event or in the single event if she finishes in the top three of that competition, pending the resolution of her ongoing doping case. Can we get a solid answer on the difference of Valeva's situation and mine's? Richardson wrote on Twitter on Monday, My mother died and I can't run and it was favoured for the top three. The only difference I see is I am a black young lady.